in that time. Alright, now it's poem writing time. Alright, let's... I think this sucks. Uh, being sad sucks too. Oh wait, that's too much for a minute. Crying's pretty dumb. Defeat's a bad feeling. <laughs> wow, okay. <clears throat> Think I figured her out. Melancholy <coughs> <coughs> mm. is a pretty bad feeling as well. Misery's pretty bad. Suicide's not too fun. All of these are good. Empty's pretty bad, though. You know what things empty. Dazzle. I don't know what dazzling is, but it sounds dumb. Uh, fear's pretty dumb. Sucks are pretty dumb. Misfortune sucks. Uh, being alone sucks. Join Discord? Alright. Hello. Hell yeah. Now I can respond to you quicker. <laughs> <coughs> I'm basically just choosing things that suck. <laughs> mm. I'm watching it. <laughs> um, I don't know what sucks there. Yeah, I'm gonna say rap, because. Yeah. This thing I'm saying. You know, disasters are pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Grief. You know, tragedy, I think that's the definition that is bad. Death is pretty dumb. There was one that had anime, you should have done that. <laughs> um, I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked into. Where are you practicing piano again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it weren't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Uh -huh. I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to eat and... Play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You found sound a Bit like they already all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying that you don't like squid? You, of all people. Eh, I didn't say I didn't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you, of all people? 
because it's right in your name. Monica. Eh. That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. And never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for today now, okay? Eh <laughs> eh. Fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as your your series, anyways. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at the desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? Hey. You're spacing out again. Ah. Uh, Oh god. Sorry. What? Don't mind me. Mm, sorry. <laughs> oh no. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh. Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry about too much about me. Are you like obsessed with Sayori or something? I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me, a, shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. I'm gonna feel bad for her. Well, alright. If you say so. Uh, I'm gonna join my friend in a comp now. Oh, alright. I'll still watch your stream. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Maybe get everyone else to, too. <laughs> <laughs> I wordly glanced at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed, so with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Your name, what's up? Eh, this might sound a bit strange, but... Have you noticed anything with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading a bit too much. Reading into it a little bit too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly draped. Dragging a rubber pen, rubber eraser up and down her desk. <laughs> Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the only one asking you your name. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked about, talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members. You know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? <coughs> <coughs> I'm just saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, your name. Me? How on earth could you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much. Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know. Hey. She's been much ha so much happier since you joined the club. It's like an extra light, light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always full of sunshine. It's not anything any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, your name. And we thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful. 
because that's just how she's when she's around you. Hmm. Uh, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just certainly get what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so don't try to think about it for now. Ah. <coughs> 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 Alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. Ah. I know that she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room where Sayardi is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayardi and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet. I can't hear Arda from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayardi told me not to worry about her, and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly. How much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh down on me so much? <laughs> now it feels like I'm the one who's behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do except for... Wait for Monica. Hey, you. Man. I look up to see Natsuki next to me. Are you just gonna sit there and see, keep staring at nothing? There isn't that much time, so... Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not like I'm worried. I was just... Natsuki glances down at her side. She's holding a volume of manga on her side. Ah, that's right. Something just came up for a minute, but we can get started now. I want to make you late wait any longer. Jeez. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you, then you can just tell me to leave you alone, and I will. I mean, assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She, pract <coughs> she practically mumbles the last part. Nah, I'm probably making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Sayori, that's all. S Sayori? Thinking about her? Yeah, she seems pretty down today. She didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. <coughs> oh, Natsuki exhales. Well, first of all... You should really work on your phrasing. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Then, in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then she, you would be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. You can't always avoid it. Anything. <laughs> he probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her, then it will be a lot more obvious. Yeah. I should have thought about that way from the start. Natsuki fiddles with the book she's holding in her hands. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Ah, don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... I was not... Jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry up and get started already. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls up to the glass club room. Oh, why don't we share our phones now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to to shave their phones, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. I will show Sayori first. This is your best one so far. 
It's really nice, your name. Er, thanks. Um, mm -hmm. say, are you been a little quiet today? Is everything alright? Eh, uh -huh. of course. Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. Eh, uh -huh. do you want an app or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, alright. Hey, your name. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even not Suki. But in the end, yeah. I guess you're the one who likes us the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait, wait. Of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with me. And I have to sometimes put up with you. But do we have a, a wavelength or something? This is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. So, sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Sayori? No, oh, no. Your name. I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sayori has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. <coughs> if he had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori. I glance around the room to make sure no one else has noticed this. Sayori. I probably have never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what I will chill you- tell me what will cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, your name. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Say already. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything, Say already cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Hmm. Well, let's show... Natsuki. Oh man, this is seriously a step backwards. Hey, I liked your last two way better than this one. I mean, I guess I can't be mad at you for trying different things. As long as you're just not trying to impress Yuri or something like that. Gross. Okay, okay. Like you said, I'm allowed to try new things. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? No, no, gross. It's not like I care. It's just that one of us that's in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. <coughs> really? Well, if you ended up just scaring me away. That's, um, it's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang, in, to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. Ugh. <laughs> oh, wait. Natsuki Zelva connects with my stomach. Oh? Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> uh, how the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway. Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing ever even happened. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. 
But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight. A sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that watches your worries away. I'll be the beach that you dream, daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail. And when and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that watches your worries away. <coughs> I'll be the beach that you dream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart light in a way that and the way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first, then came up with the message later. Yeah, well... It's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kinda wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it, or whatever. Yeah, you can really see her doing that, too. Making us write about a simple topic and trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical, too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. <coughs> well done, your name. You definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing a writing like this. It's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first. But now it seems like everyone's enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid the whole thing would be a chore. But it's a great way to for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. But it's fun to get everyone, getting to know everyone in the writing. I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you done anything by yourself, your name? Eh? Well, you know, yes. How I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know. As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? You already thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Yeah. For me to be... For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. You already... It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I, I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to these sort of conclusions. I'm just a little used to it. <coughs> oh. 
overthinking. Being disliked. Here. What, what am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making. Where the womb of the earth chaotically meets the surface. Under a clear blue sky and an expanse of bliss. But beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma. The easiest world to get lost in is where everyone can, everything can be found. One can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet. But where the sand is wet, the tide comes. <coughs> Will it getting a lick at your foundations until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sand castles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, and my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic, and the breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line. Tempted by the foamy tendrils, turn back, and I abandon my peace to a erode at the shore. Drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. Hmm. Um, I'm aware that the meat is an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. Yeah, Natsuki already told me about it. She, she did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? She just went about it. What a surrender. What? <sighs> Same topic again. I suppose the better compare the differences in our writing styles and thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's not a surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But. Well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. <laughs> it can be refreshing, you know. It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Hi, your name. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people... I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. Do, but whatever you do, I'm sure it will turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. Aha! Anyway, let's look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem and hold it in my hands. It's pretty good. It makes me think of Saturday, like the other one that you wrote. You two are like the dynamic duo. Uh huh. That's kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not shy, it's just... Uh -huh, I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But Yuri and Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them your, their share time. And you can talk to me every now and then too. I'm not like, super unapproachable, am I? Or anything I like. Oh no, it's nothing like that. I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah, I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or and something. I really, really didn't mean it like that. No, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, alright. 
Anyway, I'll share my phone with you now, alright? Er, don't worry. The lady who knows everything. <coughs> An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost to drift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all has failed me, when all the others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry gill, a quiddle, <laughs> expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer. All of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend doesn't exist. And with a breath, she blows me black up, back afloat. And I pick up a gust of wind. <coughs> well. No. I feel like learning and searching for answers are sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. You see, I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's something that's very doxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers to write things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> Are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. And I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, yeah, that. Anyway, here is Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to do a cherry dart writing because you're afraid that it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of telling that your writing is good, or, or okay, or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it, and the thing that you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little liter cl literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase. When addressed in the club. <coughs> a catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Oh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing that is different is that Sayardi isn't here. Ah, oh. it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayardi always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some leniency. Decency. <laughs> oh, come on. Alright, 
Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep after this day, so... Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously, of all the times to not go with her, and you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. The first of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Saturday. Second, she's kind of been avoiding me from today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh. That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did you say? She's anyway, we need to figure out this rest of the festival preparations, so let's decide on what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right, Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, morning pepper. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me to sign them. And as for the Yardi, Yardi, you can, um. Hey guys, can you help me come up with something for Yardi? Uh, I'm useless. I know. That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. I know Natsuki's power even too. Jeez, even I can tell him now. <laughs> I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make some banners and out and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere. Um, about that. Ah, I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be wonderful help, Yardi. But anyway, that just leaves you your name. And the one who's truly useless. <laughs> don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yardi have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I'm gonna have to save you, cause that's a... <coughs> Thanks. I gave everyone different voices, so... <laughs> Glad you'll like it. <laughs> I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, uh, I, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work that I could give you. It's not like Monica's gonna give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyways. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Uh, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you like to handle the baking on your own. Your name might not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assist him with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyways? Sounds like you're... Sounds more like you're just making excuses for yourself. For your name, too. Ah, <coughs> <coughs> oh, man, yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? You'll be extremely meticulous work. 
Yeah, it's 2 a.m. So. Hey, hold on. Ah, I already told uh, Jai that I was gonna go to bed after this day. This, whatever. This ends. It looks be extremely meticulous work. And thinking isn't. Just what do you think? Guys, guys. Let's just settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to your name to decide how he'd like to contri contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... Uh, I'm surprised as well. Uh, sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez, can we just sell this already? Yeah, your name, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm, very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going to go with... Huh. <laughs> I can just not choose... <laughs> I could just choose none of them though, and I appreciate that, and I think I'm gonna go with Sayori. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, I'd prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Monica said Sayori was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? No. Sorry. I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Oh, wow. Well, I'm sorry I don't like lollies. <clears throat> but Sayori seems like a sad person right now. So. Let's cheer up the sad person. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Oh. I can't actually choose Sayori anymore. Mm. <coughs> yeah, I guess I'll go with Natsuki then. Well, it sounds like baking could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work. So it could probably be... Probably these two people. Don't worry. Faking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Eh? Just a minute ago, you were saying that. Well, that's because... Never mind, okay? Well, anyway... You'll be fine by yourself, right, Kyori? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. That's... Good. Oh my god. I don't know what the, I want. I'm just gonna call you. Yeah, B3? Yeah, that's. <laughs> that's a little illegal, my dude. <laughs> Even though Yuri is being melodramatic, it's a little hard not to not feel bad. So, that's everything, right? Everything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes. Everything except the performance is gonna be awesome. I don't think that really counts. Huh? Oh, jeez. <laughs> that's not right. Hopefully that's not serious. I don't I don't know. What about you, your name? <laughs> Me. I I guess you can see I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. <laughs> you know, I don't know what I've done to you. I didn't know I did anything to you. Well. <laughs> what about you, Yerni? Yerni? She's still she's still sulking. 
Natsuki starts spouting too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not just be that. Oof. Never thought I'd have a, an impact on someone. Oof. <laughs> I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. So what is even going on? Well, right now we're all preparing for a festival. And Sayori went home sad. I've never played this before, so this is a completely blind for me. But yeah. Preparing for a festival. And apparently I'm going Natsuki. Nothing you can do about that. <laughs> having to come up with something for to do, and then no one offering to help? That doesn't mean... Uh, Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look. Natsuki goes over and puts her head down on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri. You really are the most talented one here. And... And you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the companies will probably help a lot too. But you're going to make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performance. So... You need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. Hmm. You didn't really mean that, did you? Uh, not really, but... Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki of all people to be saying such encouraging things, but I begin to understand. Natsuki was be trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are gonna make it a really great event. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there is nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I r barely got any reading today, so. Fair enough, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up the things, and I start to follow Monica and Yuri at the door as they chant between each other. Um, so, where are you going? Uh, we still need to figure out plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized you didn't even have a way to contact me. <coughs> oh my god. V3. That's not right. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? Whew. Cause I better get out my phone. You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmm. Natsuki gives me her number. Oh, I don't actually get to see the number. Darn. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait. They're to come over to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? 
I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going over to your house. Yeah, right. Like I could have a guy over at my house. My dad would have killed me. <laughs> really? That's kind of strict, if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I need from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much. Cause she's gonna throw me in the oven. So you better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say that you were going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I can act, like, in front of everyone. <laughs> and I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Ah. Never mind. I can't believe this. Natsuki's gonna be coming over to my house on Sunday. Even though I thought I would prefer to do this with Sayori. <laughs> my anxiety still shoots through the roof. Guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like I f we feel that way about each other. Yeah. Yeah, I I'd kill to live in one of these houses. Take that literally, I would actually kill someone for these houses. <laughs> Besides, Monica, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. It's already Sunday. Alright, <coughs> well. Even getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'd like any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into conversation. She's almost a completely, she's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of uh, emoji and cute language. She also really likes complaining about things, but I kinda saw that one come in. But putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said. Is it really okay to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we split so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Sayori. Hi, your name. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but I, it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. <coughs> you haven't really come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, I guess you're right. 
It has been a long time. Not really much has changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it always has been. I also recognize the same stuff with animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. Ehe. <laughs> if you come over like this more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up. Alright, that's good to I. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you wanted just. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we had decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, oh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. <coughs> but I'm just helping her online. <laughs> but we didn't plan to, to meet up for anything. And you seem to have an opinion. Here, B3. <laughs> ah, so it's just me and Natsuki then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good. That's no good, your name. Eh. Why can't it be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been so worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't even have to be thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. Eh hey. Say already. I grab Say already by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I knew something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Till I know. I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, your name. But... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seen what? What are you talking about, Sayori? Eh heh. You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, your name? I guess I have no choice this time. Thing is, I have really bad. I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Ah, uh, yeah, because we're childhood friends. So apparently, the guy can just walk into her house and it's fine. Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. <coughs> What is the reason to do anything when I fully know how worthless how I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy in carrying the waste by leaving, having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Say already kept this from me this the entire time that I've known her? That she really went so badly for me just not to think about her. Why, Say Hardy? Eh? 
Why is it that you've never told me about this? <laughs> it almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I kn knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all your name. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Ahem. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone else in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why... That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Aha. <laughs> You're right, that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. <laughs> but I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes f for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, your name. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. I was punished by my heart hurting in a way I couldn't understand. And now you, ca now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> because I deserve every last one. Without without thinking, I grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Aha! Your name? Sayori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day is makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But n please never underestimate how much I care about you. Yeah, I would never have it any other way. Your name? <laughs> Sayori isn't hugging me back. I feel like I'm being friend zoned here. <laughs> Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear, and it really hurts. I want her to stop that. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Your name, I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I know is... Uh, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make those feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. <laughs> Feel like it. <laughs> yep. I'm cheating with these pixels, man. Sorry. <laughs> Ah, uh, rip. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sarah put, finally puts her arms around me in her turn. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't underest- I don't understand any of my feelings, your name. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But, 
Your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Oh, that's weird. Say already lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh, it's what I want. I promise. I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sarah Lee wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all of the days, this is, has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you do that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sarah shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard to keep thinking about when Natsuki is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't have be worried eating too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spend only a few minutes back at home anxiously waiting Natsuki's arrival. <laughs> Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. Sup? Hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform completely threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Ugh. Hang on. I'll be back. I have to go to the restroom real bad. I'm back.
Let me just get a drink of water. Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. This is gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside at school. Anyway, I'm coming in. See, I brought you a lot of stuff. That's... Natsuki is carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't just come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You bought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients. If I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count, you, count on you to do your part. <laughs> well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that, rather than something snarky, like she usually does. Could it be that she is a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What, you're not even gonna offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, your name? Come on, since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag and Natsuki holds out to me. This is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> I carry that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. Eh <laughs> It's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki, it's a fist into my chest. Hey, hey. Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Eh? Uh... It's not that I, like, I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. But, jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't you think that you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school? <coughs> Yeah, the <laughs> I, I I have to like pull my mic in without smacking it. <laughs> <coughs> Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. <laughs> what? That's a little more a bit like you. You're more fun when you get to just speak your mind like that. Hey, now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little bit nicer, you know. Just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like... Uh... Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Natsuki. Forget it. I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Eh? I appreciate that you're trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types and cares. Uh, how would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Gross. Hey. What was that to me? Who else? Man, let's just get started already. Aha! You get all sour when the girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness, your name. Natsuki smiles deviously. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. Well, she's satisfied enough for now, finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flowers, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn through every 
countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so he adds it with several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Yarny, where did you put all the food coloring? The batter is going to be in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. <coughs> <coughs> what are you using it for? To color the batter, of course. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors are different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Ah, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Ah, uh, you're asking me. I don't really have a preference, so... Come on, you're not really putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki's trying to get out of me. Meanwhile... <sighs> I see separate... I see, I'll see her separate the batter into smaller rolls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah, that does look pretty cool. See, it's not like baking is just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end. If just looking at it makes everyone's eyes lighten up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting our cat-shaped cupcakes and not Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah, maybe I will use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess around with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. Me already using the electronic mixer, the electric mixer for the batter. So I got stuck with the whisk and a huge pull for the icing. Wow, B3 has his priorities all out of whack. <laughs> eh? I guess everyone has their own things, so. No, no, nothing on you. The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It'll just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the whisk for me and uses her other hand to tilt the whole pull back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger into the icing and pops it in her mouth. Like I said, you got your own preferences. Nothing on ya. They reluctantly start to do the same. Hey. Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting to do their all the work? I start to fight the back, trying to inch my finger towards the pool. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I'd like to see you try. I push harder just for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoops some up with my finger just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Ah! The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in her turn. Gross! You got it on my face! Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Natsuki's cheek. Mm. She tries to reach with her tongue, but it's too far away. 
jeans. You know what? Take this. Not Tsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger towards my own face. You wish. I'm faster. I grab her with wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Ahaha, <laughs> stop. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know, I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Same dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. You know that so. In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. What? Did you seriously just... Ah... <laughs> Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get that at me. Her face is entirely red. Your name. You really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? <laughs> what kind of question is she asking me just like that? How did the mood turn to this so quickly? I... Natsuki gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Eh? Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put in a cupcake yet. <coughs> no wonder. No wonder. You left the dirty train here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for my mis for your mistakes. Jeez. Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She says it on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. And the tension from the moment before still lingers over in our heads. But the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides cupcake trays into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing. Nothing ever happened. <coughs> <coughs> ah, that smells so good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet smelling warm air fills the room. <laughs> yep. <laughs> look at how cute they all look. She proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They'll look even better once we have the item. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make that'll look that'll make it look nice and fluffy. English. <laughs> this one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that have a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. Yeah, same here. I've been going for... four hours. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like, happy birthday or whatever. Hmm, huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We could make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Uh, you know? 
that's a good point, Pepper. And I'm gonna go to bed shortly, um, after this day ends. So don't worry. <laughs> hmm. I was kind of expecting to say something really stupid, but that's actually a really cute idea. So, uh huh. Maybe I'm getting it from you. Well, what's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not that school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well, Natsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Eh. Did you just say something? No, no. Nothing. Let's just do the guy thing. Natsuki picks up the base and fastens the nozzle on to each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and we each get to work. <coughs> <coughs> when we're finally finished, Natsuki pulls them all side by side to admire our work. Oh my gosh. Well. I hope you have fun at work if I happen to go past that. <laughs> Look how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? <laughs> oh no, I, I didn't even notice the time, honestly. I thought it was like one. I hardly stay up this late anymore in general. Oh, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. Oops. Haha. <laughs> Sayori's the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, she'd probably be down 10 cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway. I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Ah, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance. Man, as usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you, if you and Stay already carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. <coughs> yeah, I can do that. Don't worry, I won't let her eat any. Uh huh. I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Ah. That would be really weird if you were. So I'm glad you aren't. <laughs> oh yeah. I again think back to the conversation I had with Sayardi earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayardi always does listen to me, but at that point it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I don't want you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her, like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait tonight, Suki. What you said before about not always having the chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be like you wanted. But aside from that, 
you can come over anytime, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. And even to eat Bongo or go out somewhere. Uh, do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely, like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah. I want to spend more time with you. Your, your name. I thought you only cared about getting this done. Uh, I'm sorry, I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Natsuki certainly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki. Standing just from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel like her fingers gently clutch at the sides of my shirt as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision along with her slightly parted lips. I wonder where this is going. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me. I felt it. For a while now. Natsuki suddenly jumps back. Sayori? Eh? Ah. Hi, your name. Sayori. Just now, we weren't. Eh. Eh <laughs> It's okay, your name. I just stopped by to say hi. Ah, well, you shouldn't. You should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well. I'll see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off, and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Aha, uh -huh. well, I tried staying in my room. But my imagination was being really mean to me, so I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki. And how close you got to her. It makes me feel really happy. Oh, yeah, one month. And actually, it's 257. Hey, you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, your name? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. <coughs> <coughs> this would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, your name. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Say, Artie. What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes you ha me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to make it. I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. What? Say already looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, your name. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Say already? I'm scared that I might like you more than you like me. Say, Artie. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Your name. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And... That's enough, Say, Artie. I don't want you to hurt anymore. 
I slide my hand down Sayardi's arms and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayardi nods. Even if you don't understand all your own feelings yet. I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Oof. Oh. Nothing personal, Pepper. I love you. <laughs> Those aren't my true feelings. So there's no way that you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized this sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. <laughs> nah. <coughs> oh. Okay. Nothing personal. That's why I'll, I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day. With you by my side. Then I know we'll both be happy. Your name. Suddenly, Sarity wrapped her arms tightly around me. And then I discovered I have brown hair. Your name. Is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayardi in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, your name. <laughs> oh, best name choice. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sayardi's grip around me, weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayardi? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, your name. It's okay, Sayardi. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no longer how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust you. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? Ehe. <laughs> well, what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, your name. Sayardi gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Eh? I don't really understand what Sayardi means by that. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayardi? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality I've never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayardi's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should do something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayardi meant by wanting things to change? Or not, not wanting anything to change? I don't know, but I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayardi is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. <coughs> I 
And that is the next day, so I'm saving it there. I forgot to save before the decision. Shoot. Well, that's it for tonight. Um, <laughs> I went on for way longer than I thought. Uh, to be exact, I went on for three hours longer than I thought. So, yeah. Thanks for stopping in if you did. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a nice day slash night slash evening. See ya. Oh yeah, also. This is pretty fun so far. So yeah.